Welcome to the first Tasty Toast of 2023. And as this is a drink with Jeff, there'll definitely be a drink involved in that toast. In this particular case, for this particular toast, we'll be using Jim Beam Black. Why? Because we want the toast to reflect the, the qualities we see in the person that we're toasting. Jim Beam Black is smooth, dark, rich, and powerful. And that's exactly where we need to be with this particular toast. So let's get right to it. Qualifications required to be on a tasty toast. Doing the right thing for the right reason without regard to effort or the opinion of others. And today, we honor Shirley Anita Chisholm, an American politician. She was born November 30th, 1924. In 1946, she graduated cum laude from Brooklyn College. In 1964, she was elected to the New York State Legislature. She was selected as the Democratic National Committee woman from New York State in 1968. That same year, she was elected to the House of Representatives becoming the first black woman elected to Congress and the only woman in that year's first year class. In 1972, she ran for the Democratic presidential nomination, becoming the first African American to run for any major party's nomination for the president of the United States. And the first woman ever to run for the Democratic party's presidential nomination. But wait, there's more. She worked to elect the first black judge in New York State. She fought against New York's literacy test requiring English, saying that just because a person functions better in his native language is no sign a person is illiterate. She worked to create the SEEK program Search for Education, Elevation, and Knowledge, which provided disadvantaged students with the chance to enter college while receiving intensive remedial education. She successfully acquired unemployment benefits for domestic workers, as well as their right to a minimum wage. She worked to create the Special Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infant, and Children known as the WIC program, and was a founding member of the National Women's Political Caucus. But wait, there's more, because doing the right thing is required to be motivated for the right reason. And Ms. Chisholm's quotes reflect that motivation. Her campaign slogan was, unbossed and unbought. And my personal favorite quote is, if they don't have a seat for you at the table, bring a folding chair. In her announcement for her presidential nomination run, she spoke of a better view of race and of gender. She said, I am not the candidate of black America, although I am black and proud. I'm not the candidate of the women's movement of this country although I am a woman and equally proud of that. I am a candidate of the people, and my presence before you symbolizes a new era in American political history. But the most poignant was when she spoke of her own legacy. She said, when I die, I want to be remembered as a woman who lived in the 20th century and who dared to be a catalyst of change. I don't want to be remembered as the first black woman who went to Congress. And I don't even want to be remembered as the first woman who happened to be a black to make a bid for the presidency. I want to be remembered as a woman who fought for change in the 20th century. That's what I want. Shirley Anita Chisholm died on January 1st, 2005. Here's to you, Ms. Chisholm. Thank you for being one who inspires 
makes us all wish to be better people.